All right, guys, we are live. Episode 190 of the Shooter's Mindset. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Joining me here, co-host Nikki Clevenger. What's up, Nikki? Hey, guys. I almost forgot your name just now. <laughs> Thanks. We're not surprised. Uh, also joining joining us, uh, Jennifer Seymour. What's going on? Hey, everybody. Uh, owners of Tactical Life LLC, that's tacticallife.net. Owners Anthony Crispy, Sean Bailey's in the house. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Yeah. Doing, doing pretty well. Have, good, good to have you guys on. I mean, you guys are close friends of mine, so. But I think it's the best time to have you on. Long time ago, I think we did. What were you on? You were on a shooter's mindset show with me, right, Anthony? Yeah, we did like the shot show one and stuff before we left. Yeah, there's, so there's been a couple times he's popped his head in and out of these shows, but we really haven't featured his company, and I think now's the best time because obviously there's a lot of. A lot of updates with the company. There's storefronts. There's a lot of new product. There's actually, like, you guys really have your shit going on right now. Yeah, we kicked it into high gear now. Yeah, so I think it's the best time to do this because of all the new products and all the new ideas and accessories that you guys got going on. We're going to jump right into the show sponsors here, the folks over at Tactical Shit. And I'll, I'll kind of move away. I need to organize this shit still. Uh, it's not like I have a lot of room on this back wall, but. Folks over at Tactical Shit, check them out. We have a discount code coming from them uh, a little bit later on in the discount corner uh, section of the show. Uh, I just got an email. They're doing, for some reason, they always send their emails out on Wednesdays too, but they're doing like some MMP Shield uh, aftermarket barrels and slide work. So you can get Glock slide work, MMP Shield slide work, all done from the folks over at Tactical Shit. Uh, so check that out, shop.tacticalshit.com, all right? Uh, Q&A stuff, you can head over if you're watching on the YouTube side of things in the top right-hand corner. I think there's like a join the conversation thing. You guys can put in your live questions there. I'll grab them throughout the show. Also, there's a Facebook post on the Shooter's Mindset Facebook page. You can just post in the comments if you prefer the Facebook side of things. And also, if you're watching the show on the shootersmindset.com, I don't know. You really can't head over to Facebook and post, but you can watch it from there. Got some new blog articles. One that I put out yesterday from uh, Tim, pretty much affordable, helpful gear, uh, stuff that Tim is digging. Uh, he wrote an article on that. Go check it out on the shootersmindset.com forward slash blog. Um, and if you want to watch the Shooters Mindset show, you can do so every week here. Also, if you want to buy some stuff, I got some Rise Armament triggers. Pretty much I got them all fully in stock other than the LE trigger. Uh, if you guys into upgrading your AR trigger, join the cool kids and get yourself a Raj trigger, okay? Also, we got a giveaway announcement from the folks over at UM Tactical. They did a summer of breaks giveaway. I think they give away a couple of these breaks. Uh, they're fully adjustable rage compensators. We're going to be announcing the winner, random.org, live during the show here, so stay tuned for that about the midway point. And uh, I don't know. That's all I got for announcements. Uh, we're going to kick this one, start this one off here. For those unfamiliar with you guys, uh, tell us a little bit more about how you got involved in the firearm industry. And tell us a little bit more about your company, Tactical Life. Oh, I and mean, we've been shooting forever, ever since I can remember. So always uh, out there in the shooting sports, having fun, enjoying it. Uh, I started shooting, you know, competitively with pistols and carbine stuff, maybe, what, five, six years ago now. Kind of the same time me and Anthony used to shoot together. Um... Took it from there, you know, just kind of naturally progressed. We started building, um, you know, some firearm selling accessories, you know, for ourselves and friends, and, you know, started doing it more and more and getting asked more and more to, to keep producing more more things and nice, cool, tricked out rifles and, you know, just kind of progressed, started doing the gun shows and finally got our variant, you know, our, F our 07 FFL and started manufacturing and the rest has been history, you know. All right. I mean, you guys started off with what stickers and apparel, yeah. right? We were Are you guys still making some stickers? Yeah, stickers, t-shirts. You know, we had some. You know, we started doing some. You know, accessories for pistols, the grips, and you know, the UM tactical stuff. We started selling their stuff. You know, it's just funny how it all progressed from such a small thing into such a big, you know, venture. Now, I mean, storefront. You know, manufacturing firearms, viral videos. I mean, who would have thought? You know? Yeah, you're famous. <laughs> Semi-famous. It only, it only hit like what, you know, 20 million? I was about to say, how many million views did it have? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah. It's still being shared. I'm still getting tagged in, in stuff, you know, from web, you know, Weapons Daily and Gun This, and it's still being shared. 
So who knows how many videos yeah. it has, I mean, how many uh, likes it and shares it has. I don't yeah, you know when shit's gone viral when your like mother says, <laughs> "Hey, uh, did yeah. you see this video?" and she shows me of uh, this dude taking out a rifle. I got, I got, I got friends overseas in like the Middle East, and they they're seeing it, and they're they're calling me saying, "Dude, my my buddy at the Defense Department just shared a video of you." I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is funny. Interesting, you know. Yeah. I mean, but you guys are still doing the apparel and sticker stuff, right? You yeah, we still, you know, we still have our shirts and you know stickers and stuff that you know. We still, you know, give away and sell, you know, at the shows, which is, you know, always, we'll always have it, you know, it's, it's, it's a part of our roots. Right. We've focused a lot more into the, just the manufacturing aspect of it now and building the rifles and, you know, new things, new pistols. All right. And Sean, I mean, how did you get into the, the, the firearm industry? Were you just kind of dragged in because Anthony dragged you in or was, were yeah, you just shooting well, guns way before? Not so much. Started? I was always into it the same way, but. I just never had the time to go out and shoot for you guys, but I've always been into it. I, I enjoyed building them. Oh, yeah. We've been shooting for who knows how long. Yeah. Back in mm -hmm. high school. Since we were allowed to. <laughs> we used to go to the gun shows and buy, and now, we, uh, now we're at the gun shows. So. Yeah. yeah. Now, now the gun shows, now you're like, hey, you're going to the gun show this weekend? You're like, dude, no. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I work the gun shows. It's not ex exciting to me anymore. Day. Cause I remember those days. I used to go there. What war memorials over here in Fort Lauderdale? You guys do that show. Yeah. Back then, you had to pay like eight dollars to park, or something like that. You had to pay to park, and then you had to pay to enter. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I never understood the gun show thing. Cause people were like I just go to the gun show, buy guns. I'm like, well, dude, you're you're fucking twenty dollars in the hole before you got in the show. <laughs> before you get in, right? Right. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, holy shit, you know, you got to tack that on to the that supposedly good deal you got on that Winchester white box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you but, can't go there just for a couple little things, you know. But it's funny too; we see the same people over and over again, just coming around, you know, just looking like they're just walking into a gun shop shopping. You know. Yeah, uh, the same dedicated. gun show comes here like every I don't know is it ever, is it quarterly that they come around? We do them almost every month, you know, the local ones. But so. well, it, but there's like Eastman's and I don't know, there's different ones, but they're they come every so often and. The same people go to it every time, but the same people pay to attend it every time. I'm like, it's not going to be anything different than last time, but people love it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess you could say it's like the swap shop or like, you know, like the flea market of guns. If you're if you're checking out one gun, if you can't buy one gun or something, you can you have multiple shops. You could probably bargain a price. Yeah. You know, you know. That's a deal. But you guys do all the local, not all of them, right? You guys do most of the local. Well, we do as much as we can. You know, we got to manage a lot of stuff. So we, we do uh, a couple of local ones from, you know, Fort, Fort Myers, South Florida, you know. So y'all all, so y'all know all about that, like, that gun oh, yeah. show we loophole, there every, right? every, yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Gun show loophole. That's how we survive. That gun, that gun yeah. show loophole, that's right? It, man. Come in, buy a gun, no paperwork. It's awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. You didn't hear about that? I'd love to see that. I'd love to see someone try. I'd like to see someone try to go do that. I would a, a license dealer. Well, I'm sure they try, but you know they know they get shot down. Yeah, well, not literally, but well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> figured, figured. yeah, shot down again. Yeah, no, uh, now you die. But you guys got a lot of new things going on. You guys, you guys recently uh, opened a storefront, right, over in uh, yep. where Davie, Florida, is that? Yep, we finally got it. Uh, mainly to do our our in the manufacturing aspect of it. You know, mainly warehouse space, but we do have a nice little showroom. You can see where Sean behind Sean. We got the uh, yeah. the rifle wall with all our custom rifles to the some far left and some of our production designs to the right. So, you know, it's, it's a nice little showroom for the local guys to come in. You know, you can get a, a custom rifle built from us, which is awesome. You know, we can do a custom uh, PCC stuff or like competition, you know, three gun stuff. We, we carry all sorts of the nice stuff, you know, the, the facts and firearm barrels, open barrels, you know, ballistic advantage, Nordic components. So you can get kind of a custom rifle built locally from us, which is awesome. So we have a little showroom for that. But mainly it's all warehouse in the back, you know, building, storing. Yeah, so yeah. pretty much. All right, man. So you pretty much, for the, you know, I always tell people to build their rifle because instead of buying, I don't know, a $400 DPMS and then putting $1,000, $200 into it or some, you know, some shit like that, you could have just bought, you know, most of the time you could get a rifle built at around a thousand dollars. Yeah. 
and, and all that little have, stuff that you leave off adds up you know when we start from scratch you know you're still building a nice rifle it's, it's you know it's not going to necessarily be super cheap but it's going to be really nice and you are going to save a couple bucks so it kind of makes sense to do it yeah and that's what 90 percent of mm -hmm. my stuff has came come from like i usually get a couple parts and then bring it all to them and then i just and you guys have all the colors right and you guys seen this this kind of trend going on with all the different colors with rifles you guys are offering that's what, the main red, thing like, blue, you know, that, FDE, that, all that stuff right well you know it's funny too because it it kind of helped us lead that way because of the gun shows you know you go to a gun show and you see magpul this everywhere you know standard stuff this you know forward grip the standard vertical grip you don't really see colors you don't see anything nice you know so we kind of ran a little bit more with that testing out colors and and different accessories and making it look good like you saw that red uh pistol sean just held up you know everybody loves that i i call it red is the new black right now you know it's just not too much not too much but you know it, it's it's nice accessories and you don't have to go full throttle with it you know a couple things here and there some pins some you know mag release it just makes it look nice it gives it a little something and it's all you know Kind of good stuff it's not like it's uh you know just for looks all that stuff is built back you know quality durable stuff so you can have a but the best of both worlds you know what i mean and right we kind of yeah, we we stayed on that trend and that's mainly what we sell custom rifles with different colors and and options so that's why we have such a big inventory of you know maxim defense qb stocks pdw stocks you know all the minimalist stuff handrails cerakote options you know we we have a lot of stuff we can do. There you go. That's a, like a battle worn shirt mm -hmm. coat, right? There you go. So tons of options. They even got that uh, the bling bling rifle with the with the gold and yeah, the like, <laughs> polish <laughs> rifles. I'm not getting the yeah. gold one. Wait, it's it's like <laughs> too high. <laughs> yeah, but that's but, that's that's type of stuff. Yeah, we got we got the rifle. Yeah, yeah, if you're into if you're into it, animals. you know. It just shows the possibilities of what can right, be done. Exactly. You know, it's not like it's for everybody, but it's nice. People like it. People come to us for different things. You know, different options, and we just reflective camo it. is very practical. There you go, <laughs> reflective camo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We had Kyle Lamb last week on the show here, and what he what did he bash me for having a red rifle or whatever? Some dudes. He's saying <laughs> well, that yeah, a bunch of dudes. Right. Yeah. yeah, some dudes. A bunch of he's noticing this trend of dudes showing up with red rifles to his classes. Yeah. And he checks them right at the door. Well, see, that's what I said. He said it's, it's okay everyone. for me because yeah. I'm a girl. Yeah, it's not for everyone, but you know, some people like having a nice looking. Not everybody's a, you know, a, an operator in the military. You know, I mean, not everybody's looking for yeah. dysfunction and throw some their rifle. Have, they buy a rifle and throw it in the dirt to break it in. You know, some, some people, people have like four Anthony. black rifles already. And exactly. They just want to change. You know? I can't some people like Anthony are just trying to look pretty on the range. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, for the gram. If you're not active, I do it. That's exactly what I do it for. Here's here's my red one half ass built. Do it for the gram. That's for the gram right there. I just solely built this one for the gram. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know. But so, the funny thing is too, like the colors of the stuff. You know, it's it's like saying, you know, this this rail in black is not going to perform like this rail in red. You know, some people like it, some people don't. That's yeah, the exactly. best part about it. You know. Yeah. This uh, this is a Strike Industries what Megafin what yeah, seventeen uh, Megafin inch. XL seventeen. Yeah, so the fucking rail probably cost this rail probably cost more than some people's ARs. Yeah, two hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. All right, so just some of the possibilities that you can have. Like I said, if you have a, a vision in your head, mm -hmm. you know, and you just want, and you're and you're kind of like one of those guys that meet like me that don't want to really mess with their their rifle just leave it to the professionals to do that shit because i don't have i try to like i don't have the right tools and then i try to find tools that might work and then shit gets stripped yeah. i'm using i'm using butter knives to tight, tighten down screws <laughs> and shit it's just it just don't you know what i mean yeah. I, I just say here do you go here's a here's a bag of parts and Let's we get a lot this. of that we get a lot of that we get guys that come in all the time for the small little thing and you know hey you know it's helping another shooter out you know doing little things for the local guys it goes far you get a customer you know when you do little things for them it's not like saying yeah, everybody has to come in to buy a rifle you know what i mean we had a Chris, guy come we in don't let to, anthony touch his guns yeah. no 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 yeah no. <laughs> just don't we, we, we handle yeah. all that we're yeah. like a personal concierge rifles yeah i'm there almost every week doing just little shit little tweaks and stuff like that 
uh, Kevin the Tech Daddy says, Jen is awesome. I'm here to see Jen. More Jen, please. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just. Fanboy, we'll just, hey. We'll just uh, <laughs> click on Jen's camera so she'll be blown up the entire show now. Oh, my God. Don't do that. So no nose Nobody. picking. Nobody no wants that much, or Jen. scratching. <laughs> I'm just going to show uh, show the gold one. So Steph says show the gold one. Obviously, it's too high for Sean to reach. Push, the, the, push the camera back a little bit. You'll see. It's, it's not gold gold. It's just gold accents. You need to get Sean a step stool. <laughs> well, we got one. This is just way up there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's a gold break, gold trigger, gold. That rise armament, gold break, uh, yeah, gold trigger, a bunch of strike industries parts. We got gold for you. Yeah, those are options, expensive options, because that's kind of some custom. It's Maybe. funny. Some people are so picky about it, and I don't really, I really don't care what color mine is. Like, Anthony gives me hell about mine, but, like, literally, when Lansing was like, what color do you want your rifle to be? I was like, I don't care. I, I just want it to shoot good. I really don't care what it looks like. But if you make it pink, I won't shoot it. But other than that, you can do whatever, and I'll, I don't care. <laughs> but some people are really funny and have to have certain colors. Anthony. Like, like Heath and Jen that want rich. Well, I mean, Heath, well, Heath and Nikki. Heath and, I was about to Heath, say, wait. I was say, Heath, yes, Heath went a little above and beyond with his new rifle, which will debut, he'll debut August, not this weekend, but next, I guess. It'll be the first match we shoot both our new rifles in. And the race, like the race car gun. Yeah, let me go grid. I'll show you. It's a race car gun. <laughs> Got to get a matching jersey for that gun. Going out. Let's see it. Oh. Hurry. We're counting. Countdown, Anthony. Probably gonna be able to put in the combination. Yeah, I see uh, it turning the wheels right now. Seven. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, she'll bring that up. Um, you guys uh, started up as a company selling. Where are we at? Obviously, you guys started your company when the AR market is kind of flooded. Everybody and your mom has an AR build. The prices are dropping down. So the industry flooded. You really can't even sell AR for worth the worth now, personally. Yeah. Uh, prices are at all-time lows. I mean, how has it been starting your company during these times? It's tough, you know, for sure, just because, like you said, it is a saturated market right now. So everybody is coming out with a low price, low price affordable rifle. We decided to go a little bit different, I guess. You, say. you know, we, did, we have an affordable entry level model. Sean can actually grab our pistol and our, uh, our our rifle. You know, those retail like five ninety nine. It's not like the super cheap. We you know we just can't do super cheap. We there's some certain things we don't <laughs> sacrifice on. I guess you could say. So everything's got to be up to at least a certain standard with us. So we we got it down to five ninety nine, and uh, that's a rifle or a pistol. You know give or take 20 30 bucks and uh very lightweight strong um shoots great we put you know some muzzle brakes on there to help it shoot flat we can do flash riders um you know it's pretty full hand guards yeah but you know and it's tough to sell because those do those do get blended into the other inexpensive uh firearms right now so you know it's rough yeah. but we managed to push through but more importantly you know we do have that really nice model you know and believe it or not people have still been spending they spend on quality you know so if, if you're if you're doing good stuff and you're making nice uh firearms people still spend it's just not as great as it you know when you're worried about a democrat or something getting in the office <laughs> so nikki got it this is Heath. yeah this is heat's new gun it is painted after a gt40 Nice. Mustang, or I think Mustang. No, it's not Mustang. I think it's just called a GT40. But it's like the shell colors, and it even has American Defense's logo on that side, like race cars had, and Criterion Barrels logo painted on on that side with the number six. I guess it was the number six car or something. Hmm. But it's like it's blue and orange. Awesome. And then he put all this black all the black accessories on it and then put a stainless brake. I was like, what? Right, oh, that. That's an, and I'm scaring my dogs with it. I, I don't know what he was thinking on that one. 
Mine is just it's like a whitewashed. It's like a distressed white. So, right. but it doesn't look bad with the black um, accessories on it because it's supposed to be black underneath the whitewash. But yeah, the the color thing is this. You know, I was I said yeah, we'll take just two black rifles, and they're like no, let's <laughs> spice it up a bit. Yeah, and he's just like, oh yeah, like, oh this is all I want. I want this, this, and this. And I'm sitting here like. I just don't want. I'm like Jen. Just don't send me pink. Mm -hmm. No, and I'll be good. Oh. So. Yeah. yeah. How about purple? The colors. The colors are in. Oh, oh, I like purple, purple, but I don't want to go too crazy. Yeah. I'm not a pastels get, kind of person. Is he going to get a matching jersey for that rifle, though, Nikki? <laughs> no. Fire suit. No. I uh, look because then we have to wear matching jerseys, and I'm. I'm not. I like cars and stuff, but I why do you know. have to wear matching jerseys? You can still be Team Clevenger with different colors. I don't know. I'd it, be like, because mm -mm. it's, no. it's another it's another design and it's fifty dollars more artwork wise to switch it. So it's easier to just say four dollars and pay the same amount. Four jerseys that look the same, pay the same amount instead All of right. getting fifty dollar artwork charges for different colors and stuff. Yeah, Kevin Attack Daddy says, great shop, great guys here in Florida representing. So Coming through right there, buddy. Yeah. He actually texted me who was going to come by today. We had to do this show. So right on. Um, what is Tactical Life doing to stand out and separate yourselves from the rest of the companies out there? Ton, like, Kind of going back on this topic, tons of companies out there uh, oh, from yeah. mom and pop to big box. Well, that's the, the best thing we got is uh, – you know, pretty much almost what everybody else don't have. You know, the the backpack gun, the little truck gun that we I got that nice famous uh, viral video on. I don't know, fill that up. You know, it's funny. Like a while ago, we were just looking to see. You know, we were familiar with the lot tactical and stuff like that and folding stocks. And you know, we were just kind of looking at a backpack one day and going, we can get a, we can get something to fit in there. And it's been like a mission to get it smaller and smaller. You know, and then I don't get any smaller. So we mailed it and, uh, you know, we put it together and we saw it with a little bag, you know, swing bag with a mag. And people get an awesome kick out of that. You should see the people that walk by, you know, while we're demoing it and they stop. It. In there. Yeah, they don't, it's almost like a, we, we can have fun like and bet people, you know, like I give you five bucks if five doesn't go in there. Oh, yeah, all right. You know, you're yeah. right. You know, so it was kind of fun of messing with people and, you know, but it, it really is a, an awesome little gun that we, that we managed to get going and, been very popular lately. Yeah. So that kind of set us apart. You know, we, we had something very interesting, new, you know, something nobody else really tried to, to produce in, in a larger quantity, you know, a production model of, of something like what you see there. So, right. you know, it's been really reliable. We've been testing it for the last three years. I mean, easy, from just the Gen 1 models that never locked and, uh, you know, had its, it had its issues. We worked through them and Feel like now it's got to the point where it's so reliable and you know we've been so good that you know we feel confident enough to release it out in the uh, in the masses and we've been picking up dealers and you're, you're starting to see them pop up different areas we got a guy out in Phoenix Arizona a couple down here in Fort Lauderdale and working with a couple more up north to uh, to get the ball rolling so you're gonna start seeing them popping up more and more and uh, online of course we have them Different yeah, models. Need to, we need to get like future to sing a song about this stuff. So <laughs> I get it. Yeah, get it in a rap video. <laughs> yeah, I got a Draco in the car. Whatever. You know what I mean? Rifle in the bag. Yeah, because we, you know, as soon as those, you know, as soon as those songs pop up, and we sell a crap ton of AKs. The only problem with something like that. <laughs> the only <laughs> problem. Hey, what you trying to do? Hey, they shot me. You think we could do that with an AK? Get it even smaller. <laughs> Maybe. Let's try. Never know what the future holds, right? Yeah. There's a CMC guy down the block. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that uh, those things are a little bit more on the, you know, they're a little bit more pricey versus a Century Arms AK. Yeah. yeah. You know, that you can get for 600 bucks for sure. or so nowadays. And then people throw them in like a Jansport backpack. The backpack you guys are throwing those in are like, man. It's <laughs> super small slim bag. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. surprising. Like, we still put it in the bag and we look at it going, I don't know either. It just fits. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get Ricky. Ricky when you Ross see it in, when you see it in person, it's small. <laughs> it's yeah. Super small. 
Yeah, one of the rifles I don't have from you guys is that, I don't know, I just, it's just, you know, it, like I said, there's flavors for different. I just never really got into the whole backpack. Well, not, not, yeah, all your stuff is, you know, shot for a, a purpose. You know, you're, you're shooting competitively. Yeah. You know, you got each one is doing a specific thing. This is kind of, you know, it's a it's a toy in a sense, but it's a, it's, it's, it's functional. You know, it's good to have in the, in the uh -huh. truck if. You feel like yeah. shit's gonna go down. You need thirty. I, yeah, I think a, <laughs> I think a boat gun. I think a yeah, nice gun, truck that, gun. I we think. do a lot for boats. It, it's compact. You know, you could put it in small areas. So you know, down here, there's tons and tons of marinas and boats and guys fishing off and going to the Bahamas mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And you best believe there's a good amount in those boats of, yeah. of our type of weapons. We sell a lot to guys. You know, specifically for that reason, they want it because it's small enough to go in. As you know, in their consoles and their cabins and, and stuff like that. A lot of bikers yeah. want them for their saddle the bikers. Bag. My dad has one in the saddle bag. You know, you gotta be careful of seeing him around. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. and the cool thing about them is the quick exchange. You know, the caliber exchangeability of it. You just twist that off. You could throw on a three hundred blackout, yeah. and then switch that off. And you know, you, the, you know, there's a lot of different options you can do. Well, actually, there's only two options with the same bull carrier group, which would be a five five six and a three hundred blackout. Yeah. Yeah, we could do 7.62, you know, you swap the, the barrel and, and the bulkhead group, of course. You know, 4.58 so calm we've been playing with just for the hell of it. You know, yeah. uh, 9 millimeters, obviously, we're going to do a 9. We got a little plan for some 9 millimeter stuff to, we got to play with it first before we go and count our chickens and go to hash, but we got a good, a cool idea with the 9 that we're trying to work on. Yeah, they got the new hand guards that are now, uh, what, now you can, they're M lock attachments. I guess that was a complaint mm -hmm. with some of the older designs that they, yeah, no attachment you points. You know, you, it was compatible with Yankee Hill rails and stuff like that, which is great. You know, it gives another option, but it really brought the, the price up. You know, these aren't ex cheap parts. That's why the gun is fifteen hundred dollars. You know, it's, it's definitely not a bunch of cheap stuff on there. Everything on there is is very well built, quality USA made. So, you know, when you get into two hundred and fifty dollar hand guards and two hundred and seventy dollar uh, folding stock adapters and stuff like that, you know, yeah. it all adds up. <laughs> And of course, yeah, the, the time that we got to put into building each one, each one's handmade, you know, hand fit. Every one can be a, a tad bit different. It's not like we're just throwing this stuff together and saying, okay, here you go. You know, we test it, we make sure everything functions, it comes on and off easily. If it doesn't, we tear it down and fix the problem, start it back up. So it goes a lot yeah. into making one. And, and yeah. you know, we got it down and we got it pretty much free of any major problems. We have yet to knock on wood have anything come back, you know, other than maybe like a charging handle, you know, some people lock it back and you can't really drop the charging handle without the, uh, the, the barrel on there. It really does a pretty, pretty nasty bend to your charging handle. So that's the worst case that uh, ever happened. You know, it's clearly in the instructions, but shit happens. People don't always read those for guys. Instructions no, are all garbage. I don't, I don't read <laughs> So, you know, that's the worst that happens. Oh, well, you know. Oh, well, we'll at least read the sorry. part where we got warranty. <laughs> yeah, well, that's another best part. We got a warranty. So, you know, we, we don't really warranty stupidity much. But, you know, hey, listen, if we have one broken, one bad charging handle. Uh, yeah, back, it's just a know, charging yeah. handle. What am I? I'm not going yeah. to cry over, you know, 50, 60 yeah. bucks, <laughs> 40 bucks. Right. You know, so we, we swapped it out, and that was that was the worst case scenario. So. We're, and these rifles, these rifles right now are ready to ready to sell right now. Yeah, they're, they're inside. That's the thing we didn't want to get ahead of us pre-sell them and stuff like that because we knew the time that it goes into them. But right now they are in stock. Um, you know, ready to ship. Three hundred yeah, blackouts, five five six, uh, smooth handguard, M lock handguard. So we got even more options, which is great. So everything's ready right. to go with a bunch of options. And this is TacticalLife.net. There's a also another company out there ta called Tactical Life. Yeah, that's the magazine. Yeah, Tactical You can go get these right now and get them shipped to your FFL. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that rifle in a second, but we're going to move on to the discount corner here. I got a giveaway that I got to uh, I got to uh, find the winner for, so let's get into this one with some good timing. Jennifer, we'll start off with you. Discount corner, what do you have? Carbon Arms, you can get 10% off at carbonarms.us on um, shotgun, shell caddies, chest rigs, um, mine's back there, I can't reach it. Um, it had the extension tubes for Stogers, 
Um, and they have some other ones also, but I just shoot a Stoger, so I like that one. Um, they have handguards for ARs, so go check them out at carbonarms.us, and you can get 10% off with TSM-10. You can also get 10% off at the Shooter's Mindset store with Gen TSM-10, because my code is cooler than Nikki's. It's one short letter. It's one, well, one, one letter less. Letter. Yeah. One letter shorter, because it's just J-E-N TSM-10. Right. You can get Maybe. all kinds of stuff there, though. There's a new trigger by Ray, Rise Armament that Anthony mentioned, and it's on that website, so go check it out. Nice. I will, I will have them, too. <laughs> well, do I have a discount code for you? That, doesn't you TSM 10 work, work everywhere? It works everywhere. I want my own. <laughs> That's my only – the Shooter's Mindset store is the I go, only I went to, my own personal. I went to Target the other day. The lady's like, I was like, does TSM 10 work here? She's like, it does. <laughs> That's is. my kind of target. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, what do you have discount codes? Um, check out American Defense Manufacturing. You can use discount code three gun ten. It's the number three, the word gun, and the number ten saves you ten percent over there. Um, if you are looking to build a AR and you need a super awesome barrel, hit me up. I got a fifteen percent discount code for Criterion barrels, and also a twenty percent discount code for True Specs. So if you want to look good out on the range, feel good, get some pretty sweet clothing, uh, hit me up. I can get you a 20% discount code for true spec and head on over to Red Hill Tactical, get you some Kydex holsters, mag pouches, all that fun stuff in the waistband, out the waistband retention, everything you need. Kydex the world. Use Was it them? <laughs> Was it them that I just saw got invited to be a vendor at SHOT Show? I think, just, I think he did. I think we. Oh, he is. He asked us if anybody needed passes for Shot Show. So, I I haven't been on Facebook today really at all because I think it was them. Maybe. Yeah, I think he said he was trying. Oh, well, but use I, discount code Clevenger. We got a Clevenger. new discount code. Uh, it's also for Red Hill Tactical. It's TSM10. Just use that one. Oh. Damn it, Anthony. Yeah. yeah. There you go, TSM10, RedHillTactical.com for some holsters. You're pissing my dogs off. Yeah. Uh, That's not shop, hard to do. No. Uh, Shop.tacticalshit.com. TSM10 saves you 10% off the entire website. It's good for everything, man. So go shop around, use that code. Much appreciated. Folks over at Dewey Rods, DeweyRods.com, TSM15. Saves you 15% off anything on the site. Uh, Terran Tactical Innovations, TerranTacticalInnovations.com, TSM10. Saves you Anything on the site, including gunsmithing work. Uh, we talked about Carbon Arms, Rand CLP, who we had on last week. Mindset 16 saves you 15% off RandCLP.com. And UM Tactical, uh, TSM 10 gets you 10% off at UMTactical.com. There's a bunch of like 15% off codes, so I don't know. Do your research, you can probably find a 15% off code somewhere. Uh, Shouldn't but we got the Rand CLP discount have changed to 17 by now? Uh TSM 16 because oh, it was your 2016 code or 2016. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We don't want to conf confuse people. I know Team Mindset 16. Yeah, it works. Well, they're probably gonna I type mean, in TSM 10 and be like, "Why doesn't it work?" Yeah. Uh, exactly. All right. Uh, we mentioned the folks at UM Tactical. They had a, a summer of breaks uh, giveaway where they are giving away this pretty much the same comp here. Uh, it's adjustable. They have it for 556, 762 by 39, 9 millimeter, 308, all that, all the good, all the fun calibers. They're giving away one to somebody lucky that entered on their Facebook. So, where are we at here? Going to do some screen share stuff. Hopefully, get this stuff to work. Let's see where we're at. Screen share. All righty. So, there was 500 people who entered. I got one out of 500 here. We're just going to generate a number. And the number is 278. Number 278 is the winner of the UM Tactical Summer of Summer of Breaks giveaway for the UM Tactical Rage. Alrighty, so there's the winner there. Uh, come off of this, and that's it. So good luck. Oh, well, how do you know what your number what is, is? I won. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> the number's 278. So that person's the lucky winner. I'm pretty sure that was me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There, there you go. Um, but back to the stuff. Obviously, this video went viral. Some dude, just some random dude taking a video at a gun show of you taking down this rifle. Right? Too. We had 20 million views on that one. Yeah, and happy, happy you guys pretty 
and you guys were pretty much out of stock after that. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a wrap, yeah. yeah. And we, a couple dealers came in and cleaned out the rest anyways. Um, it was kind of I was weird like, too. I knew him when. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird, too, because, you know, like, I can't tell you how many times we, we actually show this off locally and people take videos and, you know, it was just the right guy at the right time. Like, you know, we were up in Tampa, actually, and there was a, a trade show up there uh, for law enforcement, I believe, and they were dealers from um, down in Puerto Rico. And they were just cruising around. They saw a gun show. They stopped by. And it's funny too. They we were you know doing our demos all throughout the day and the beginning of the day. And we saw them kind of watching. And you know everybody you know we start flipping that thing open and stuff. You know we get like a little bit of crowd. People see it. They ask questions. Wow. So we noticed everybody. And then you know later in the show, a guy comes by. And goes, hey, can you uh, you do that one more time and I can video it? I go, no problem, man. Clickety clickety clickety. And he said, all right, thanks, buddy. He goes, watch what happens tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, all right, you know, okay. And, yeah. uh, sure Where did enough, he post it originally to make it? On good. His, it was on his. It's on his Facebook page. Um, America, America, in Spanish, Cowboy, in Spanish, <laughs> And uh, you know, it's funny because there, he didn't really link our information into the video. You know what I mean? Because he kind of wanted to be able to get in on it and sell them all. And I, hey, listen, you know, you want to buy them all and sell them, no problem. Someone's got to buy them, right? So uh, mm -hmm. it was funny because people started seeing our our logo on my shirt on the bag, people were stopping it, looking at it, and they literally found us. And ever since that day, you know, it was just phone call after phone call and setting up dealers and, you know, putting together as much as we could at the time, you know, waiting on more product to come in. It was just, it's just been straight ever since that video. We've just been busy putting stuff together, getting it out, you know. I know. It's been awesome. I'm and the rest is history. Obviously, that yeah. that gave you some notoriety as a company, and people were like, "Where, where can I get this? Where can I get this?" Tattoo yeah. life. So that obviously was a big boost for you guys. Oh yeah, not yeah, only on social cool. media wise, but just getting your company name out there that was huge. Yeah, it was huge. And uh, so, so the new retail shop over in Davie. I mean, what are the hours? I mean, can someone just go knock on the door anytime? What? Are we, tell us a little bit more about it, and what are the future plans for the shop? Um, we do kind of more of a one-on-one. -on -one. <coughs> experience now you know most people want to come in for a purpose or grab stuff we do we're usually here you know three four hours a day later in the day um, but usually if you just get on on our, our uh, social media or our, our website and get our numbers you give us a call you check in with us you know come in we give you kind of more of a one-on-one -on -one experience because we do more custom stuff here you know uh, you can always come pick up a production a production rifle or pistol or a lower and some parts you know not a problem but Usually it's later in the day. You just give us a call, you know, come around four to four to seven ish range is usually a safe time to catch us. And on any future plans for the shop? Yeah, we're gonna end up, you know, going a, a little bit bigger. Once we get some uh, some more staff and stuff, we'll have some normal operating hours and, and where people will be able to come in and just shop on their own time. But uh, until then, we'll just maintain the uh, appointment because we're so busy building and getting stuff out and orders, it's hard for us to really kind of have just regular storefront hours it wasn't really meant to be like that in the beginning but since we've been getting more and more traffic and people coming by we're, we're definitely moving towards that within the next uh three to four months right on um trijicon was was just this past weekend here over in tacoma washington here something that I don't know. This is the first year I even heard about this show. I never heard about it either. I'm interested. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering. I kept seeing stuff on Facebook. I was like, I didn't know about this. It looks like it'd be perfect for us, someone like us, you know, a little bit smaller of a show maybe. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure of the aspect of how big it is, but I saw some, you know, some pretty big players hanging out over there. Yeah, yeah there was some pretty big players in there. And I don't know, uh, what is it? Autumn. And I sent her a PM. What does she think about it as far as the show versus like SHOT Show and NRA? It's, obviously, it's not going to be, be as big as SHOT Show, but she said she was pretty much able to do what she needed to do with and see what she needed to see in one 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 day time, you know, pretty much in one day. Yeah. I think it was a multiple day event. They had like a range day, just like SHOT Show where some company vendors came out. And you were able to like that. And then there was a show. And, and it's open so, to the public, which is pretty cool, you know. Yeah. So, but that being said, there was some companies who came out with some and announced their new products at the show Trigicon, and Rise Armament was uh, Rise Armament was one of them. Uh, they came out with the RA four thirty four high performance trigger, 
which uh, you guys sell those stuff too. You guys know that a lot of some there's a, there's a crowd of people that really like the flat trigger shoe yeah, when it comes that. to pistols, when it comes to rifles, and now Rise Armament's bringing you the flat stuff. Right? That's our number one seller too, and in, in the trigger man, they those things. They're built great. They feel great, and now they got the new one, which is kind of like in the middle of the 535 and the 140, which I think is going to be a hit. We're getting them tomorrow. We'll yeah. have them tomorrow. We'll get on our site tomorrow. But right now, and they not only that, and then you always got people. Well, I want it in silver. I want it in black. I want it in pink. Well, they have it in silver. They have it in black. They don't have it in pink. That'll be some custom work that Sean can probably do. There you go. I don't Give know. I just made that, that was made it up on. I just it made it up on the fly. I don't know if he's going to be pink, pink triggers. He probably will. Nah, he'll figure it out. Everything <laughs> has a price on it. Everything has a price. Uh -huh. Yeah, money. Everything has a price. Yeah, so if you want your whole receiver polished, that was all done by hand. <laughs> yeah, you're going to pay. I'll tell you that right now. That's yeah, who did all that po polishing? Huh? Sean is the master polisher. Yeah, I did. All I was going to say, did you do all that, Sean? Yeah, it was about 30 hours of polishing on on this one but he sanded out the imperfections it's not just hit a buffing wheel he yeah. sanded, the, 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 he sanded out the, all the little you know like i don't know man. i think it was i don't got the patience for that yeah i don't have the I was gonna say, that's that. too much work i mean more props to you <laughs> it's awesome i don't I have use the it to, i use it to clean my teeth at the gun show <laughs> yeah. yeah mirror wait for you to talk to so many people you know you don't eat a bagel in the morning that's it it's a wrap also, also some new products was the the Spartan bullet lower receiver. Yeah, I'm getting like um, from Sharps I'm Bros. Those stat. <laughs> right, uh, it was like man, I told myself I was done building eight. Once I, I left the stock. Over at Tactical Life, but once this one goes in some optics, I need like I two. I sold it. I need some two. I need like two optics, and then I'm done. I'm I, I told myself there's no more rifles. You're to never build. gonna be and done, then, Anthony. And then, Every time then, you say, "I just need this," I'm and I'll yeah, be yeah. done. Well, then I they come out with the. By the way, they come out with the Spartan. For you. <laughs> yeah, they come out with the Spartan lower receiver, and then I'm thinking, well, one more. Yeah, one more. Because I kind of want that. Crispy, will he ever be done? Not as long as we still get new products. <laughs> yeah, I don't, nice. I don't know. Yeah. We had a, we get all his rifles done and complete, then we come out with like a couple new things, and we're like, you got to build a whole new one, you know. And then he so, has to have it. Yeah, that's all I way. Yeah, you well, gotta, I'm sure you there's gotta, a. You got to just sure build a whole. A little, I'm sure there's a little lady in your life who could probably use a rifle. That's an excuse. There you go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, time to start building that 22. Yeah, little 10 -22. Need that little 22. I already little have that. One. I already have it built. I guess I can get like a 1022 and portion it out. There you go. Look, you hey, if you need reasons to build guns, there you go. That is a, a reason to build a gun for life. So what we're finding out is that tactical life is like your drug dealer. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enablers. And it's a good thing. You know what the best thing about getting in the industry for me was is that I get to build rifles every single day. So therefore, I don't have to keep buying stuff to build my own rifle. I just build your rifle. So I get the satisfaction of putting the new parts on and getting to play with it first and build and. And then it's like it saves me a lot of money from my personal weapons. That's that's true. I don't get that because I still yeah, keep he has a problem. My money. <laughs> he has a problem. He has a yeah, big he problem. keeps. You get something new, I just buy extra just because I know one's just not gonna make it. <laughs> I do wish I could just like work somewhere where I could just, you know, fondle all the guns, I like touch play guns all, all day, play with them, and have a good time, but not have to buy them. Yeah. Yeah, Reap the benefits. Maybe yeah. I'll move to Florida and get a job with y'all. Yeah, we were, just, at this we were point. just talking about having to meet somebody, so I got a spot for you. There you go. There you go. Um, what do we got here? Havoc Legion shooting team uh, checking in. Forgot zone. So he's a You're little late. late. You're late. Um, well, wow, this is a long commercial. So I'm sorry. For what? For that one. I guess that for life. <laughs> uh, what kind of accuracy? That's kind of the purpose uh, of our show. If you haven't ever watched, yeah, it. I guess this is first one. Uh, what kind of accuracy should one expect from a tactical life rifle? Uh, great. Uh, should uh, that great, that? Should kind of it? Kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. What accuracy can uh, accuracy can one expect from one of your rifles? Obviously, all your rifles are kind of different. But, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. Well, yeah. Obviously, accuracy depends on a lot of uh, factors. But you know, the barrels we use are all guaranteed one MOA or less with proper ammo. 
So we start off with a base as a, a really good barrel. Um, you know, bulkhead groups fit, everything is good. So you can pretty much with a standard 16 inch, you know, production rifle, you should be guaranteed a pretty much a one MOA or less shooting rifle with, with mm. proper ammo. You know, it's as simple as that. Uh, we have way better barrels, you know, which, which will just improve the uh, shooting experience, I guess you could say. You know, where you really want to tune your, your, your weight of your, you know, your bullet to your twist of your barrel. I mean, we can make it as accurate as you want, but all of our production ones come out the box ready to roll with a, a, a good one MOA. And that's, the, and that's the thing that you can just tell them what barrel you want. That's the best thing. We, we You know, since we have the Faxons, you know, I got Faxons. We got the Odins. You know, we got uh, Ballistic so got Advantage. Rise I got the Rise. Yeah. I got a Rise, a couple of Rise, you know, so you know nordic components so we don't yeah. just limit ourselves to one little stack of, of barrels we have a big production run of our our barrels we use on our regular rifles but you can always custom build um something special or, or upgrade yeah or obviously upgrade. there's a little bit there's a little bit more that goes yeah. into just a barrel we use chrome line we use melanite i mean basically you know you just got to look at where the money comes in you know a production barrel is going to be a, a chromoly viridian barrel with with uh, you know melanite then we have chrome line options. We have 416R stainless steel options. So, um, but the 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 lowest we go is still quality. That's in a sense, you know, it's, it's, they're not cheap barrels. They're all U.S. made, big big barrel manufacturers, you know. So, right. Uh, Mini Uzi says he loves the show. So, there it is. We appreciate you watching, Mini Uzi. Um, what else we got here on the – we talked about what else was new uh, from that show. I saw Strike Industries always has – they're always hinting something new. We love Strike. We're, we, yeah. we, we've been a distributor of Strike since the get-go. That was probably the first company we got on board with, and that was thanks to Sean. You know, he, he found them and said, dude, I want to get some stuff here, but we should need to look into them. And we looked into them, and ever since that day, man. We we have Strike Monday. We order from them like every week. Just more yeah. and more stuff. What was it that they put out? I think someone put up posted a video of them at the show. Was it adjustable glass block? But it's not yep. your normal kind of run of the mill adjustable glass block. It looks really interesting. We, so, we can't wait to get our hands on that. But that they it's like every week that they they share something that they're working on. They always have something. They always have yeah. something on the back burner. You'll never know about it. They've been, they've been working on it for two years and all of a sudden it's coming out before something they've been planning on releasing, you know, like we've been hearing about the Viper, the Viper PDW stuff forever. And like five things dropped that weren't even on the, on the board. It seems like they're very sporadic. They're, you, they keep you on your toes. Yeah. Uh, what they posted a video of their, their, uh, gen, their Glock gen three compensators where you don't need a threaded barrel. Mm -hmm. So they have, they, they had those released for the gen fours only. So now they're working on the Gen 3 version of that, which is interesting, and they posted their first prototype of that. So uh, they got a lot of – I wish they would kind of uh, hurry up and come out with a lot of stuff. They, it's like every week, though. But it's yeah. like, all right, well, I'll see that in like a year or two. And the M&P yeah. base pads, the plus two for the M&Ps, those are going to be huge. Mm -hmm. You know, the Glock, when they came out with the Glock ones, it was just crazy. Now the M&Ps are out, you know, two most popular guns out there pretty much. You know, Glock yeah. 19s and the uh, MP shields and stuff. All right, Jen, we're talking a lot about rifles. I mean, you don't have any of those PCC 9 millimeter rifles, Nikki. Do you have one of those things? I do not. It's, it's it's cheating. It's cheat. It really is cheating. Mm -hmm. It's it's just like what? Those are the groups that that's happening offhand. It's just like oh, you got you got to get one. Why don't you shoot one? I and, love 9 millimeter. I, I mean, I want a PCC. I just. I don't have one yet. We'll have to talk. I have too many yeah, other things I want to. I want to master 308. Like I can't. I, do, I know. I want like I'm dry two. firing and really, really, really working on my pistol really hard. And I want to learn 308 and long range and learn to do it well. And I can't learn everything at one time, or I won't master anything. So. Mm -hmm. Boo on PCC. I mean, they're just doing so many like PCC challenges and like matches up around me, and I'm like, everybody's like, oh, are you are you going to so and so this weekend and shooting PC, uh, PCC? And I'm like, PCP. No. Yeah, you guys doing some PCP? 
No, um, some PCC, and I'm like, no, I'm not. At, at work the other one. day, <laughs> at work the other day at the hospital, I can't remember what they were doing, but they were using the acronym PCC, and I was like, PCC. You got oh, never, mind. <laughs> never mind. They're like, what? I was like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't understand. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Uh, Lucas Oil is doing a huge uh, PCC championship. What is that over in Missouri somewhere? It is. Yeah, um, they're doing a Labor Day weekend. But it is a huge cash payout, right? There's a lot of cash prizes involved there. I think. I know Tony Pignato is doing a lot with it. So. It's going to be a good match. Very, I mean, yeah, the who's who. Of, yeah, I think Mike Sexton's out there. Yep. he's. I think he's doing the stages and all, maybe. Um, it'll be a good match. I just don't have a PCC to shoot, so. He's, well, well, he has access to a PCC through work but I can't use it. So he can go shoot all the PCC he wants. Hmm. His PCC is cool. I can't think of what it's called, but it's got like the, the no pew, the one pew, the oh, three yeah. pews, we got, and that's then all the, the pews. That's what the chrome rifle is right there, the arrow, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> well, it doesn't say pew, pew. It has little pictures of bullets, but oh, no. uh, it's got like one <laughs> no line, <laughs> line through bullet, one bullet, three bullets, five bullets, like his... his Safety goes all the way around. I'm like, and that's why I can't shoot it because it's yeah. county owned. Which I don't understand. My taxes, my taxes help pay for that. I don't see why I can't. I don't get to shoot it. Right. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. You use my tax dollars to buy it. It's partially. Liability. Say it's partially mine. Like right. about. Isn't that some kind of straw man purchase? <laughs> but uh, here's Crazy. and this is a stock that I haven't really. Um, I'm going to take this out to match, but we had a lot of trouble getting this stock. Oh, on the that, that was an interesting <laughs> experience. That that stock oh, took uh, that stock took us four days to get. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, and three different that, purchases. And that was purely Y'all should have videoed of, that. Purely, purely just because of the shipping time. We had we got one part in, tried to put it on, figured out we needed another part from Odin. Which we figured Odin would have said, "Hey, yeah. by the way, you can't just buy this and put it on any buffer tube. You need ours." That's what y'all needed to then video. we got that in and it came turn yeah. came down. Then it turned out oh by the way you also need our end plate too. So three shipments later. The only people that made money was UPS. <laughs> yeah. Pretty pretty much. It was, and it was weird because they were selling the stock by itself. Doesn't right? Make sense. Yeah. And then they had then they had the stock with, with all their stuff, with their with their yeah. pistol buffer, you know, all the foamy, the their end plate, all that stuff. But I was like, okay, so why would you sell the stock by itself? But we tried what? We tried. We tried three, three pistol buffer tubes. <laughs> three different from three different manufacturers uh, pistol buffer tubes. It didn't fit on there. And then once we finally got theirs, we tried a standard end plate, and that didn't work. And we tried also a Strike Industries end plate, and that didn't work. So pretty much they had all their own shit that had a go together in order for it to work which i was like I, it didn't make sense why you would sell the stock without it yeah and i think now if you go to their website now you can you can't buy the stock by itself obviously. Yeah, no i guess point. After, it's just buy the kit That's the yeah after i guess after me calling them two or three times they just said oh yeah uh this shit ain't gonna work let's just settle it together so that's the story behind this uh on this uh, this is the odin works zulu stock so uh, I don't know. Just it is pretty cool, though. It is interesting. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, I gotta bring it out to a match and break it in, though. Any uh, live stuff? Any live questions that we missed that we didn't hit? Oh, Nobody's going to Facebook and asking me any questions. I'm very sad. Go to Facebook and say hi, Jen. So I feel loved. Yeah. And then you and then use discount code Nikki TSM10 to save you. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Yeah, uh, Mini Uzi. Mini Uzi says the key to a successful PCC is yelling "booyah" midway through the stage. Uh, Note taken. Yeah, Note having taken. the shooting team says I want that MPX for PCC. So that's I, I, what I, it is. That's the thing. Yeah. No, that thing. I had the Sig MPX, and I know Havoc Legion's a, a fan of Sig. But I got that thing, and it didn't run. It didn't run as well as I 
I didn't run a lot of my reload. Well, I didn't run my uh, my competition reloads at all, which that's not a big deal. You just change up the load, but I was hoping that I can just – what I run in my pistol, I can throw in the PCC and it'll run too. But now it didn't run a lot of uh, factory ammunition either, so it pretty much only ran hot factory ammo. That's the only thing I could get it to run. And I was like, well, screw this. This is like – at the time, I think I – I don't know. They were like sixteen hundred dollars for that, you know, for that sig, somewhere in that price range. And I was like, well, sixteen hundred dollars, and I gotta buy fucking one type of ammo for it to run. I'm like, screw that. So I ended up ditching that. And the way I got it, I was able to send it back. It was, it worked out. And then I just ended up building my own nine millimeter AR. And even though with this barrel, it does have, it won't run a flat point. Uh, nine millimeter so like your your american eagle uh 147 grain you know anything with a flat tip on it it won't run but it'll run your standard you know 115 winchester white box it'll run you know pretty much all the basic and cheap shit it'll run it like a champ so that's that works for me if it's so, not like that so heath just texted me obviously i don't know anything he said it's an mp5 oh that's oh, what yeah. he, that's the county. Yeah, you're not going to let you play with that. No. no. Yeah, that's fun as shit. That's, the, that's that. the one with the pew, the pew, pew, the pew, 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 mm -hmm. that I'm not allowed to touch. Nope. No. He brought it uh, home one time, and he said, this right. does this, this does this, this does this, don't touch it. <laughs> one, of the smoothest, one of the smoothest guns I've shot in full auto, though, was an MP5. Yeah. But the only thing is they have their disadvantages when it comes to the PCC world. That's why there, there's only a few guys on Team HK that are really running them hard. I think John Rodriguez has a Zenith, which is kind of like an MP5 clone that he's doing really well with. Uh, but just the way, obviously, you got to slap, you know, you got to well, slap. It didn't have sights on it. it. It's got iron, like old school iron sights on it. So it's, I was yeah. like, good luck run, trying to run that for PCC because I don't, you're supposed to go fast, put the dot on it, and pull the trigger. With the the, the right. slates that are on that thing, I'm sitting there like, I don't know if you can go fast with that. I've never seen it done, though. So. Right. So, I mean, what else have we got here? Any upcoming goals, events, or new products that you guys have coming out? Uh, well, speaking of PC, PCC, we basically uh, been starting to play with that a little bit more. This is our, uh, our Glock Mag small frame lower. For PCC uh, patent pending, bolt hold open in the lower. Um, so this is what we're really playing with. As you see, yours, you know, getting a lot of the testing done with you out there, and uh, a couple other guys have them. And uh, that's our main project soon is to fulfill that. That's why we got the uh, the facts in nine millimeter barrels. We got our uh, a new bolt carrier group that shoots both Colt and Glock mags. Has a larger extractor in it. Um, should be really great. You have back that. on the last round, right? That's locked back on the last fun. round. Yep. And um, you know, so just playing with different formulas of that, you know, and uh, continue putting out more models of the uh, the takedown pistol and also a rifle version in the near future. And really, the PDW, Sean, if you can grab that PDW, uh, this has been real popular. Um, it's not on the top shelf, is it? Yeah, no, <laughs> it's right there. The small we do that we do that guy right there in a in a five five six and a three hundred blackout. That's been real popular. You know, we have the all black model, and you know, of course, you can get other colors if you want. But it's uh, we love those those stocks and uh, the JL billet rails. It's really lightweight. It's it's fast. It's solid. You know, that one has a flash hider on it. We also have a couple of muzzle brakes. So depending on how you want to set it up and. You know, that's going to be probably something we'll have coming out soon as a production model. Anthony, well. it's got your red on there. Yeah, it's good. yeah. I'm I'm done with the red gun, so but yeah. But <laughs> we use those because they it's stick it's out more. You know, you can see it when we bring them to the gun yeah. show. So you can see all. That the stuff's very popular. It pops. Yeah. It grabs attention. People yeah, go to that's the booth. Exactly and what it is. You know, we build more in black, straight up. You know, we do get sell a lot in in the red, and and we get some blue. But most people just want. I mine's all black. You know, I keep it simple too, but. Yeah, um, you guys, uh, you guys had your lower receivers just coming. This is pretty much what a month old now. Yeah, and we've been moving through those. I mean, so yeah, we got our full blown, as you saw there. 
Okay. Low receivers in stock. Um, little things that we do different. These are actually threaded. We use a 632 dog leg screw on here, so no need to punch in your your bolt catches anymore. Uh, we use the upper lower tensioning screw on them, so you can fit the uppers. You know, if you choose to use a different upper or a matched upper, you know, you can always fine tune the, the way it fits to remove some of the wobble. Um, yeah. You know, so we just coming out. You know, new things. We got a bunch of that, bunch of the lowers in, so those have been good. The 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 Glock nine millimeter lowers. We have a very small run of those just because we wanted to really test them out, make sure everything was good before we went into a production model of that. So right now, all our PCC stuff is is custom built locally for a lot of the guys, or you can always call us on the phone and get one built. But you know, yeah, and you guys are doing something. I mean, something that you know a lot of people have done this. And you guys are obviously doing a different different approach. I've done this to an old Glock 19. Was I just took a, a white Crayola crayon, and I just shaded in the, and for the white fill. You guys are doing. So much <laughs> what did you call that crayon? What kind of? That's crayon? how I'm sitting there like what crayon? A, a white, Wait, what? Crayola crayon. Oh, I thought you said Crayola. Crayola, Crayola. I was like, what is he He's hanging with you too much. You guys for are doing. For a second, I thought he yeah. was. I was like, you guys are like, doing it totally this. different. They're doing it yeah. a lot neater. Yeah, Sean can Sean can explain that. Yeah, we do. Uh, we use a uh, like a, a car paint, pretty much uh, an an enamel. Um, yeah, I do it with a really fine brush, and then get the excess off there. But it comes out pretty clean. This is one of the like dolphins colors we do. We do a bunch of other different ones. I saw someone do um, it with I got, nail I got a gold one. Nail polish actually works pretty good, but it, it's hard to get it off. And if you use the wrong kind of acetone, you end up taking the black off. That's all ashy. No nail polish. No nail polish. No nail polish, no nail polish. No I mean, nail works, polish but remover. Not the, not the preferred way yet. You guys are just into the, it's the little details colors. like that that you guys can, you know. Well, that's what we're, we're, we're always going to stay, stay true to the roots. I mean, we were always custom. You know, we did a lot of stuff custom. You know, yeah, and that's people. And I've, I've seen some hack jobs when people trying to do that shit, though. Oh, we've seen some pretty yeah. horrible color fill. Yeah, <laughs> we, I've seen some. Sh I've seen like, dude, you just messed up your whole gun, dude. We'll I know you try to get. Right I know you try to get Instagram famous with that shit, but it ain't work. <laughs> but so can't Photoshop go. that out. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, especially when it, or when it starts running. And then mm -hmm. it'll like it'll start like the the whole receiver will start to look faded a little bit because that the white has has run off. I've yeah. seen that stuff. So interesting. Mm -hmm. But what else? What yeah. else we got? I vote for the green next. Uh, what else? And that's it. I'm pretty clear for pretty clear on the on the questions on my end. Any any other uh, new products or events that you guys coming up? No shot show booths. Nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing, not, not shot show. Not not shot show. Yeah, that's it's not that easy to get into. Yeah, um, but you know, maybe in the future. Never know what the plans are for next year. Um, you know, local shows. We'll always be at those demoing the products. Um, you know, just growing the shop, getting the lines out there to dealers. We're really focusing on dealer sale. You know, getting the the, the, the models out there so people can touch it, feel it. You know, see it in person. That's the that's the real way you got to see these things. You know, you got to touch it. We just had a dealer call us, you know, got a couple of them in, said they sold out so quick, ordered more. He goes, man, as soon as people touch it and play with it and feel how solid it is and nice and light and the quality, you know, it sells itself. So that's what we got to focus on, just getting it to the to the masses. Boom. There you go. Jen, Nikki, anything you want to add here? I think we can almost run this one down. I do have a question now on Facebook, but it's just a um, silly question. But it was... Hi, Jen. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Oh. There's the answer. Boom. Boom. Burn. <laughs> she got you. You yeah. thought you were going to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All righty. I guess we can wind this one down to shout outs. Uh, Jen, what do you got? Lanzang Tactical for awesome rifles. Um, ZT Knives, Night Force Optics, Load Up Ammunition, Sharpshooters of Augusta, and Shooters of Augusta, Grizzly Targets, Lucas Oil, Outdoor Line. Check out their PCC championship that's going to be in um, Labor Day weekend. Proper Carbon Arms and Tactical Life. 
Dot net. There you are, Nikki. What do you got? Yeah, uh, let me find my list because I wrote it all down. Criterion barrels, American Defense Manufacturing, Eagle Imports, Pure Gold Shotgun Chokes, the official shotgun choke at Three Gun Nation. Uh, True Spec, the outdoor shop, shop local. If you don't have a local gun shop and you're not in Florida at Tactical Life, you can check out my gun shop at theoutdoorshop.rocks. Uh, Stage Zero Shooting Supply with Donnie Flo here local. Um, hit him up if you're looking for those SPS Panteras. Safari Land, Red Hill Tactical, ZT Knives, GPO USA, and then companies that I like that I'm not necessarily sponsored by, but I dig their stuff. Um, tough products, Techwear USA, and Dangerous But Good. There you go, Sean. Shout outs, what do you have? Shout out to Strike Industries, of course, Rise Armament, um, yeah, see, Braces, Law Tactical, Pantheon Arms. Yeah. Boom. Crispy, what do you got? Actually, I'm going to let you guys know how you can win a free lower. Actually, every month we're giving away a free strip lower. This one we're going to give away a color fill. It has a little blue on there. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to be giving away a lower uh, every month, first week or so of the month. All you have to do is go like our Facebook page. I'll post up a picture of the lower, like it, share, comment, and in seven days you know, you'll know if you win a lower. So. If you guys want to win some of our products, just keep an eye on our Facebook page, Tactical Life Firearms, um, our Instagram at Tactical underscore Life, and I think we have a Twitter. Don't use it much, but I'm pretty sure we got it. It's yeah. there somewhere. Yeah, think, yeah. Yeah, everybody just has a Twitter. I think, just, and they I, think just, I got one, but I never just, like, really. like relinks everything. I never so committed just, like, to it. Posts. Yeah, never committed to it. Twitter. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. I don't know how to really use it. Man. I don't no, either. Not. I just tag my Instagram to it, but then whenever I get a notification, I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. I don't even know how to log in. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm face, pretty Facebook, sure, yeah, yeah, I have it. Yeah. Yeah. I have it linked to Instagram. At. So every time I post to Instagram, it posts to Twitter. So every Twitter, every one of my Twitter feeds is just yeah. photo from Instagram, photo from Instagram, photo from it. I guess yeah, that's how that works. Getting them to work know. all together is like impossible. Yes. Something always goes wrong. Gosh, something always goes different. wrong with Twitter or something. With me. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my end here. Subscribe to the channel. Right below the video, you see a yellow subscribe button. Hit that every Wednesday at 9. Do a new episode of the Shooter's Mindset Show featuring another great uh, company. Well, I guess another commercial at 9. Yeah, commercial. Great commercial. <laughs> it was a fantastic yeah. commercial. Hopefully, an informative yeah. commercial. Jeez. Yeah, right. Uh, and the folks over at Tactical Shit, thanks for supporting the shooting sports and support, supporting the Shooter's Mindset show. Shop.tacticalshit is a good way to shop and get some great gear at TSM 10, save you 10% off there. Uh, if you want to email me, the shooter's mindset at gmail.com is a good way to do that. Anthony and Sean for coming on, spending two hours with us here on the show. Appreciate that a ton. Um, what do I got? Folks yeah, over at Tactical Shit. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I figured that. It's not like an emergency. I'll wait on that shit. It's gonna be on eBay later. I'm pretty yeah. sure I sold it from Jason. Yeah. That's oh, okay. You guys stock more of those. <laughs> yeah, Just kind right. of code TSM10. They'll give you a double actually, percentage off. Exactly, it, it works exactly yeah. opposite when Anthony comes. TSM10 actually adds 10 percent to his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for all the work he makes me do. <laughs> I was about to say for all the work y'all do for him. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is it? Uh, folks over at Tandem Cross are making some really awesome 22 uh, upgrades. I got a couple things coming for the Smith & Wesson Victory. Going to get into more Steel Challenge, Rimfire stuff with their, their products. We appreciate them. The Gear Nation USA for the finest apparel. What a local guy. Local guy here really working hard at it. Trying to, you know, the apparel game is, is just kind of a tough game to get into. Everybody and your mom's doing it. Um, but he has some fantastic designs. Available on the Shooter's Mindset website also. Uh, that's it. I guess one more. Terran Tactical Innovations, man. They're really they're really good to me, and I have a lot of their product also on the shop. Check that out. I think that'll do it for episode 190 of the Shooter's Mindset. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. We're out of here. <laughs>